Hello and welcome to lesson 36 of the Learning Guitar series. In this particular lesson we're going to look at the Lydian mode. Hence we're looking at the fourth degree of an harmonized Ionian scale. Let's look straight away at the chart so we understand you know, immediately what we're talking about here. Here I have my major scales and here I have the harmonization of the major scale, which in other words means deriving chords from scales. So far all the lessons have been in the key of G, so I'm, you know, I don't see why not to continue in that path. Here is my G major scale, or G Ionian. Here is the harmonization of it. And as you can see, chord number four is C. Now, in order to understand Lydian, so let's write down uh, G I'm writing basically uh, a G major scale and F sharp. Now, if I think of this scale in terms of interval, I can write simply like we know that the sequence is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We've done this literally at less than 1. Now, let's start from the fourth degree, so what we're going to call Lydian. Let's write the same scale starting from C. Now I have D, E, F sharp, G, A, and B. As you can see, the notes are the same. You know, I haven't changed the notes that I'm using. Okay, just a different starting point. Now, if I look at the intervals, this scale generates if I relate everything to a C note. So if C is number one, D, the interval is a second. So in between C and D, there is a second. In between C and E, there is a third. In between C and F sharp is not a fourth, but is rather a sharp four. In between C and G, the interval is a fifth. In between C and A, the interval is a sixth. In between C and B, I have a major seven. Or like, we can simply start the right seven if you want to. So. As you can see now, I have another major scale, and I can tell for sure that this is major because this is one, three, five, major seven. So this particular scale is going to apply to major chords. But if I think of it, let's let's transpose this back into G. If I was to write this sequence one, two, three, sharp four, five, six, seven in the key of G, now I would have G is number one, A is two, B. Is three. I would not have C anymore because I'm looking for a sharp four. So I would have C sharp. Does it make sense? I hope it does. Fifth would be D, sixth would be still E, and the major seven will still be F sharp. And so the number for this scale now are one, two, three, sharp four, five, six, and seven. And this is what a Lydian is. And in, in a way, it's easier to understand the difference in between Ionian, which is this one, Ionian, Ionian, and say G Lydian, by simply comparing this in terms of intervals and numbers. So the only difference in between these two scales is basically the sharp four. They are both major scales, they both apply to major chords, but they will have a different sound. So I'm going to play you a, a, a G drone in the bass, so that we can hear we can hear the differences in between the two. So here is G Ionian. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In this case, it's the key of G, obviously. Second half. Then. And here instead is G Lydian. So instead of the four, we're going to have the sharp four. Yeah, the note is different. Second octave. I'm, I'm doing it on purpose that I'm staying longer on that sharp four so you hear the difference. So here, again, here is Ionian. Is Lydian. As opposed to Ionian. That's the fourth. 
Lidia. I'm sure you can hear the difference of sound. Now, again, let's go back to our chart in order to understand even better uh, not only how it works as a scale, as a scale, basically, the interval is 1, 2, 3, sharp 4, uh, 5, 6, major 7. Let's look now at, um, <coughs> at the arpeggio. So, again, this is uh, we're going back to lesson 16. And we studied so far, since, you know, lesson 1, the Ionian mode, so first degree. We studied Dorian, second degree. We studied um, the fifth degree, so we started Mixolydian. We started, we started the sixth degree, we started Aeolian. And now we're looking at chord number four. Now in the key of G, as we said, we're looking at C. As you notice, again, the, this vertical structure, this arpeggio here, is basically the scale, but spelled in interval of thirds. In other words, if, let's look at this from the point of view of G, okay? The scale is G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp. Okay. And that's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp. The difference that is spelled as an arpeggio starting from the, from the, you know, uh, the fourth degree of the Ionian scale. And again, I'm relating every single interval to the C note in this case. Okay. So if C is number one, E is number 3, G is number 5, B is the major 7 for C, D is the 2nd or the 9 for C, F sharp is the sharp 11 or sharp 4 for C, and A is the 13. In other words, again, if I was to, tr to transpose everything in G, this particular arpeggio in G, and compare it to this, <coughs> the only difference, once again, is the 4th, in this case sharp 11. Uh, so you have 1, 3, 5, major 7, 9, 11, and 13, and here you have 1, 3, 5, major 7, 9, sharp 11, and 13. Once, once again, like we did with all the other modes so far, basically here you have a triad, and it's major, obviously, 1, 3, 5, so this particular scale on a page you can apply to major chords. If I extend it to a four note uh, chord or a page, I have a major 7, and these are my extensions, the colors I can add to this particular chord, okay? So if we look on the guitar, the, the type of um, uh, arpeggios that we can generate and the difference in between, uh, say, uh, uh, Ionian and Lydian. For Ionian, we started an arpeggio that went, a modern arpeggio that went 1, 3, 5, flat 7, uh, 1, 3, 5, major 7, 9, 11, 13, 1. Now we're moving the 4th from 11 to sharp 11. So from 4 to sharp 4. It's just in the second octave. So now we have 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, sharp 11, 13, and 1. And I'm going to put like a, a pedal on G so you can hear the difference. So this is the full, the full Ionian arpeggio. And here is the Lydian arpeggio. Here is your sharp 11. Okay, so let's look uh, at the PDFs that you can download with this particular lesson. So the first, the first uh, page you'll find is actually the scales. And of course, the shape themselves is something that you're familiar with. Uh, we're, we're adopting the cage system. Uh, so in terms of the finger shapes, they are the same that you studied since Aeolian, Dorian, etc. The only difference is now they're spelling uh, Lydian. So here is my root note, here is the sharp 4, which, you know, compared to Ionian, that's where the Lydian sound lives. And you have five shapes covering the entire guitar. The exercises that you did when you did Ionian, so all the intervals and uh, group 3, group 4, they're still valid. So once again, it's great that we can still relate to those first 15 lessons in terms of exercises and apply it to everything that we are still studying. We're not really adding things. What we're doing, we're moving. So this particular shape, let's take for example, and I'm talking fingers now. One, two, four, one, three, four, one, three, four, one, three, one, two, four, one, two, four, 
which in this case is spelling G Lydian. It's a shape that we've seen before when we've done an Ionian. One, two, four, one, three, four, one, three, four, uh, one, three, one, two, four, one, two, three. And we did that when we discussed the shape of C major. Okay? In this case, we are using the same shape adapted to Lydian. Okay, so it's one, two, three, sharp four, five, six, major seven, and then root note. If we continue with the PDFs, then we have the modular arpeggios. So in this case, if you spell the entire chords, you know, don't forget, like, when you think in terms of modes, it's not like pop music. Pop music, we think just in terms of triads. Nothing wrong with that, by the way. But, you know, so we write, you know, uh, C, D, E minor, that kind of concept. Sometimes when you play jazz or like soul music, it's got some of this, funk music sometimes it's got like this. We might extend the chord and add some colors to it. So you start seeing maybe things like uh, C major 7 or uh, A minor 9 you know, extended chords. And the embellishment, by now you should understand that those embellishments derive from those charts I showed you. It's not a random process to decide if you can add the nine to a chord or not. It's because it, it particularly belongs to a particular key, to a particular mode. In the case of Lydian, what we can add to the major seven is nine, sharp, 11, and 13. And if I was to write the full long chord, not a tr just a triad, the chord would be a C major 13 sharp 11. It, it would include all the extension. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, sharp 11, 13, and 1. So in this second page of the PDF, I highlighted a few places where you can play the extended, you know, the extended arpeggios and where some of those extensions can be. In the third page, you see a major 7 sharp 11 type of arpeggio. And this can be interesting because this is uh, a peculiar, a peculiar. You know, it's, this is a Lydian, a very Lydian sound. What I mean by that is um, one three five and one three five major seven, one three five major seven nine. In terms of arpeggios, they are common with the Ionian. So when you study those arpeggios, so when we did literally less of one, two, three, four, five until fifteen. So we we were studying say major seven, and we were doing it this way backwards and that kind of stuff. All those arpeggios are still valid for Ionian because until the ninth, they are the same. So whatever you studied when you did Ionian is the same for Lydian. So major seven is the same, they look the same, you already studied them basically. If you started this lesson from the beginning, you already know them. Of course, a major seven arpeggio applied to G Ionian As you can see, it still works, and this is Lydian now, okay? In other words, so all those studies there, they stay in common. In fact, in the PDF, I didn't feel the need to include them again. But if I want to really kind of play a kind of an arpeggio that brings out this Lydian sound, then I might want to use an arpeggio that contains the sharp 4 or sharp 11. In this case, for example, an example of it, there is many, but I'll give you a, a couple here in the PDFs, is maybe an arpeggio that goes 1, 3, sharp 4, major 7. This is still like a major kind of arpeggio because of the major 3 and the major 7. So even if I'm omitting the 5, it's still okay. And I have 1, 3, sharp 4, major 7. 1, 3, sharp 4, major 7. And that's kind of a leading sound. See, like that's a major chord. Major seven, sharp eleven, sharp four type of chord. Very leading. Another way you can do it, three octaves of it actually. Like you have major seven, one, three, uh, sharp four, and you can repeat it over. I added uh, a couple of pages of PDFs uh, where you can look at these other type of pages, so major 7 sharp 11, because these are going to be different from Ionian. These are going to be proper of uh, Lydian, if that's the sound you're after. Same thing, a major 9 sharp 11, okay? Here you see some red dots because this is over two octaves, and the way you want to perform this is 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 
sorry, one, three, sharp, four, seven, nine, and then go back a string and play again, one, three, sharp, four, seven, nine. I'll show you to you on the guitar what I mean. So you have one, three, five, uh, one, three, sharp, four, seven, nine, and then you go back, one, three, sharp, four, seven, nine. So you have this kind of sound. And it's a nice sound, you know? It's an interesting arpeggio. And of course, you know, you, have it, you kind of have it almost in all shapes. Some are more comfortable to finger than others, but... That's another typical kind of... A typical Lydian kind of kind of sound. Let's keep going on the PDFs. And uh, aside from this, also you have one that relates to chords. So again, you have the shape, C shape, D shape, C shape, A shape, and G shape. In this case, I added major chords that also included the sharp four. What I mean by this, so like, you know, there is many more chords, but Again, if you think of the difference in between Ionian and Lydian, and by now I hope you understood that the only difference is one note. So uh, the four becomes a sharp four. Or if you want to think in terms of 11, so the uh, higher octave, the 11 becomes sharp 11. All the chords that you studied for Ionian, they're still valid. The only one that are not valid to be used with Lydian are the ones that contain an 11 or a fourth. So if you exclude those, so I mean like in the PDF, so the first 15 lessons, there must be hundreds of major chords. If you exclude the ones that contain an 11, all those ones, they can also be used in Lydian. Because all the notes, as I said, are in common beside that one. For Lydian, if you want to really project a Lydian sound, you can use these ones, which contain also like a sharp four in them. So for example, the first one. One seven three sharp four in the higher octave. One three sharp four seven. One three sharp four nine. One sharp four seven three. Five seven three sharp four. I'm gonna play a pedal of G underneath, so you can also hear the ones where the bass is omitted. So imagine you have a bass player. So in this case, we can do 7, 3, sharp 11, 9. Three, six, nine, sharp 11, 7. Sharp 4, 7, 3, 13, so like a 6. And here you have a couple of more pages, okay? Same thing if we look at the D shape. One sharp four seven three. One five seven sharp four. Three one sharp four seven. So like here, in this case, we're starting from the third. That's an interesting sound. Again, starting from the third. And again, you have many, many more. So here is a she shape, a shape. But these, the only ones I included here are the ones that have a sharp four or a little, you know, sharp 11 in it. Every, for everything else, you can still use major seven, uh, major six, major nine, six, nine, same chords that you studied for uh, Ionian. As I said, remember to exclude eventually the one that contains an 11, because those are, uh, proper to Ionian, while the ones with the eventually sharp 11 are proper to Lydian. I hope it makes sense, okay? Sometimes modes can look a bit more brainy than they need to be, but if you're playing pop music, we're looking at chord number four, you know, and that's pretty much it. And so, like, in a way, G Lydian, so chord number four, so G is chord number four for D. If we go back to our chart, um, and I look for a G, under letter four, you see that chord number one is D. So, in other words, if I, the notes of D Ionian 
and the notes of Gilidian are the same. So more than, you know, more often than not, people wonder, okay, well, so then what's the point of having to do the modes? I mean, well, I discussed this before, but, you know, again, it's about tension resolution. So uh, a, a, a very easy progression, which I like to use, score progression, I'm going to create a backing track at some point that you will find on Patreon, that you can use to practice Lydian is simply to use chord, chord number four and five. So in the case, say, in the case of G major, G Ionian, chord number four is going to be C, chord number five is going to be D. And this is, if you don't believe me, in the key of G, chord number four is C, so C Lydian, and then we have D, chord number five is seven. The way I like to do this, I mean, I haven't invented this, you know, okay, this, is, this way of approach has been done before, right? But it's simply to play C major, even as a triad, big kind of chord, and then a D triad, so D major, but still with the bass of C, this way. So you have this kind of sound. And as you can see, it resolves into chord number four. We're not going here, okay? This would be chord number one, but you can see it's so far away from the mood that we had before. This is my song. That's why I would use C Lydian to improvise over this progression, as opposed to use G Ionian. Because G Ionian is going to give me, although it's the same notes, it's going to give me a different vibe, a different mental reference, and also in terms of the guy tones. Because in my head, if, if I'm thinking C, I'm going to think this, which is C major, or like, uh, where's, here's where my Lydian notes. Well, if I think Ionian, is this, okay? So you might want to loop a kind of progression like this, if you, you know, as I said, if you can find it on the internet, maybe like somebody put it on YouTube or something, or if you are a gentle soul, you can uh, support my Patreon page and support this project and have access to, to many, many back tracks and extra lessons and stuff. But let me show you what I mean in terms of sound. So, so I just looped it.
hope it makes sense. So, as you can see, this was pretty much C median all across the neck. Um, I hope it makes sense. Of course, like as usual, uh, if you have any question about uh, anything, just feel free to leave a comment. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, maybe you might want to do so uh, as a sign of appreciation and, you know, just to pop by and say hello. And of course, uh, it, it would be very much appreciated if you would consider um, subscribing to my Patreon page. Uh, it helps support this project and, you know, bring it forward. Uh, aside from this, I think next lesson is going to be just before Christmas, so there is going to be a chance for me next time to, to you know, to wish you good holidays and stuff. In the meanwhile, I hope you're doing okay, and I wish you all the best, and uh, see you soon. Bye.